It was uh, something that was surreal, very transformative. It brings the reality through the lens of technology. We're here today for what we call the future of briefings. It's basically leveraging new technologies for the good of diplomacy. Today, the government of Japan has funded this new initiative using uh, virtual reality. We share that experience with other permanent representatives and all other you know, diplomats. This event is a premiere of a virtual reality film on climate security risks co-organized by the Mission of Fiji. The film was produced by DPPA. So many Pacific Island countries are facing these challenges of climate security. Small islands have contributed next to nothing to the challenge of climate change but are suffering most of its impacts. The purpose is to bring our guests to the virtual trip. And get a sense for the realities that are so far for people here in New York. I hope that today's experience will provide you an insight on what the future of the UN could look like. The film we had today was a very vivid demonstration of reality in relation to climate change. Get it started. You'll see yourself on a terrace, sort of overlooking something a bit like the Grand Canyon. Oh yes. Put on like a VR headset and watch a VR film about the effects of climate change on Pacific states. Portrays very clearly how the world is transforming because of the impact of climate change. It was the first time trying VR for me. It was great. It was a very like intensive, immersive experience. I really felt like I was on the island, walking around, trying to see like the whole shop. It's very real. You could see the water coming in to almost um, reaching where they stay. Community has been devastated by rising sea levels, severe storms. It tells a story of survival. One, the report is giving it to you, everything is written there. But when you are actually in the immersive environment, you discover something by yourself. How these kids are playing on the ground, how these like, houses look like. As you discover it by yourself, you remember more. Quite memorable, I think, to like talk to the chiefs or the elders of the village and to hear them talk about the long-term effects of climate change. It's a great way of portraying the urgency for things to be done in that area. To have an immersive experience without leaving your office saves us cost, time, and comes for the good of the environment at a low carbon footprint. This is a good way of giving them the real experience. It is very, very helpful. The future could be many more experiences that give you the chance to simulate realities and futures ahead of you and uh, gives you much more interactivity. Virtual reality can really help us to raise the awareness of the people about the seriousness of the climate change which is having a negative impact upon the people on the ground. Technology affords people to step into the shoes of others affected 